the Premier League, the holy grail of English football, the grand stage where dreams can be made and also shattered. In the opening season of the Premier League, there were 22 teams that started this brand new era of English football, and Blackburn Rovers were one of them. Now, fast forward 25 years and we've just been promoted from the third tier of English football. After years of turmoil, Rovers have finally turned a massive corner as they try to get themselves back to the promised land. But wait! Venkis, the balmy owners who have caused chaos since their arrival, have yet made another bonkers move by replacing crowd favourite Tony Mowbray with this haphazard clown as manager. Can this rookie steer Rovers to the great beyond? Or will his lack of knowledge and experience track Rovers to football obscurity once again? Now with this clown in charge, there'll be tears, laughter, and of course, plenty of drama. Join me as we try to make Blackburn Rovers great again. Hello folks, welcome back to yet another episode of my Football Manager 2019 series called Make Rovers Great Again. And we are doing pretty well, I must say, in our second season in the old Premier League. Now let's bring you up to speed before we kick on with today's matches. So in the last episode, we took on Arsenal and we drew 1-1. And since then, we went to the Carabao Cup and we won 1-0. In a stodgy old game, we only got the one goal and it was Loney, Joel Anderson, who scored in the very last minute. Um, to get us through to the next round and in the next round we are taking on West Ham and that's what we're going to have for you shortly. Next up we took on Bournemouth down at the Majeski Stadium, Reading. Not sure what that's all about, maybe they got a new stadium on the way, it was a 1-1 result. Callum Wilson opened up the scoring for uh, Bournemouth with a runaway goal, easy does it. And then in the second half, it was Rovers with Ampadu to Gray to smash home all three, well, not all three points, so share of the points, 1 1 in the end. Then we took on Newcastle United at Ewood Park, and we won 2 1. In a topsy turvy game that had pretty much everything, we took the lead. Uh, Sean Maguire tapped in his third of the season, and missed penalty then led to Rovers 2 0 up. But in the end, uh, Newcastle did get themselves a goal through Halevich from a goal out of nowhere on the 40th minute. But in the end, it was 2-1 winners for Rovers. Then we went down to Stamford Bridge and we had another cracking day. 1-1 in the end. Federico Chiesa opened up the scoring on the sixth minute. Kante to Chiesa to the top bins. And in the second, well, a little bit later on, Lenehan smashed home his, I don't know, fourth or fifth goal of the season courtesy of a Charlie Mulgrew corner. 1-1, that was the final score. And then right here, right now, we have just taken on West Ham in the league and we won 1-0, last minute.com goal. Jaden Bogle had the honours from a corner, headed home, Mogru to Bogle, and that is all three points. So in this episode, we are going to take on West Ham once again, this time down at their place, and then we're going to take on Wolves. In fact, this is technically, ah, it is still technically October's month, so we're going to be doing West Ham and then Wolves. Um, yeah, yeah, I think the game's got kind of delayed a little bit, but anyways, let's, let's take them on once again, this time in the Cup. So here we are, boys and girls. Quick look at the match. It is West Ham against Rovers down at the uh, London Stadium. And uh, we've played West Ham three times in all competitions since we started this adventure. We won all three of them. Can we make it four out of four? Winner of this goes through to a later stages. I think it is, what, the quarterfinals, perhaps? Yeah, quarterfinals of the Carrera Cup. It's got our name on it, boys. We're going to win it one of these days. Is this the year? Okay, we just went straight into it, obviously. Uh, but we're actually playing a rotated side here with McCavalry and goal. Wijnal, Ampadu, Nelson, Anderson, Travis, Smallwood, Rothwell, Olsen, Nikitaya, and Armstrong up top. As for West Ham, pretty much a lot of the same faces that were in the league game. Uh, Chikorito up top. Let's get it on. West Ham kicking us off. I would say they are probably the, uh, the favourites here. 12 minutes gone. Concentrate. Press the wrong button. We'll let it fly for now. Ampadu! How'd you do? Ampadu! His third of the season could be the most important one he scores. And that's 1 0 Rovers. 40 minutes gone. We still have our noses in front. And that is half time, boys and girls. We're doing okay. I know there's not much to talk about. But to be honest with you, I'm happy. So I can have just the one change. Brereton on for Rothwell. Rothwell was looking a little tired out there. So I mixed it up a bit. Anderson. 
Poops it forward to Armstrong. Olsen's there, a clean house. Brereton now on the right-hand side. It's tackled by Torreira. And here come West Ham with the big H. Out to Wilshire. And Dennis Mann on the ball. Sets up Chicharito. And that was a first-time volley. And that, my friends, is a bit of a belter. Show some passion, lads. Show some passion as it's now even Stevens. We'll see a lot on the line here. Goal kick by Perez and Halisovic. McCavalry with the save. Torreira heads clear. Olsen clears if I... Hopefully. Olsen to Armstrong with pace. Hacked down by Diop. Chikarito now with skills to Halisovic. McAvory with a save. If it does get to the later stages, I need to keep a, a substitute on deck, and that will be David Raya, because I fancy him as my penalty maestro. And it's getting closer to those stages. Travis, Brereton, Travis, Olsen, Brereton, Armstrong, turn and shoot. Vingdahl's under a bit of pressure. Back to Ampadu, the goal scorer. Vingdahl, again, under pressure, forced back, a long way back. Ampadu now to McAvory, to Smallwood, Nelson, Brereton, loose ball, who's on it? West Ham, Chikorito, Dennis Mann, Chikorito, and it's cleared by Nelson. Oh my goodness, end to end stuff here, boys and girls, hanging on in there. 15 minutes or so to go. Into the final 10, it's happening. It is happening. David Ryle's coming on. Andy King's coming on. Is that, is that trump card of David Raya going to pay me off? Is it going to in, come in handy as we go into the deep, 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 deep stoppage time? It is penalties. Armstrong, first up, out the blocks. Confidence and tucks in the bottom left-hand corner. David Raya, my penalty maestro. Can he do the business? Not this time. Brereton. That's a miss. That's a miss. But it's in. Powell. David Raya. Come on, son. You're my... Oh. Olsen. Straight to the keeper. Oh, my amazing bit of skill is falling flat. Oh, my goodness gracious, Raya. You have to save this one. No pressure. It's just Renato Sanchez. It's just Renato Sanchez. He's going to score this. Raya. Ah! Okay, my trump card absolutely fell flat on my face. But anyway, we weren't going to win it this time, was it? we got to concentrate on the league, boys and girls. We're doing so well in the league. Forget about this old Mickey Mouse Carabero Cup. Oh, Burnley have made it through as well. That would have been fruity if we could got if we could have got a result. But anyway, let them have it. Let them have it, boys and girls. Let's press on and get focusing for the league against Wolves next. So here we are, boys and girls, with the second game of this video, taking on Wolves at Molyneux. Now, we've played two times uh, since we began this series, and we've won one and we've lost one. Now, Wolves come into this in a bit of a pickle in 18th spot. We are in 10th, a, or sorry, in 9th. A win for us today. We could go as high as... As fifth in the table, obviously we need a uh, to get to a, uh, maybe a couple of goals and all that kind of stuff. As for Wolves, a win for them. They could get themselves out of the drop zone to 17th spot. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to do something a little bit different today. We've got Raya, Bell, Mulgrew, Nelson, Boggle, Gray, King, Reed, Bennett, Major. And I'm sticking Bradley Dak up top as my striker. I've just not really found any joy with, with Maguire, Nikataya. Uh, the other, the Moroccan fella, Armstrong, Brereton. So I'm going to give Dak a shot up against Wolves. Okay, quick look at the Wolves lineup. Gutierrez up top for them. Traore is a bit of a wizard when he comes down there. Lewis Dunk at the back. Mustafi. So a pretty good defensive unit. If you hear some squeaking, that is my lovely Pucci. That is Luna. Wolves kicking us off. So Sunday night, Sunday afternoon football in front of the Sky Cameras. Can Dak do the business up top? This is what we're trying to find out. 13 minutes gone. And we have an injury. So Mario Bell picks up a niggle. Charlie Mulgrew comes uh, into left back. Lennon comes on. And that swaps that out. Mega. King. 
strikes. Luna's going nuts so with a squeaky toy. Bolly hoofs it. Nelson heads it oh, as far as Major. Gutierrez now. I can't even see who that. Diogo with the strike. Goes out for a corner. Moutinho will take it. It's in there. Mustafi heads over the top. And it's still 0-0. On the other side, King. Gets it again. Gray back to Mulgrew. King now loses it. Mulgrew, can he put across? No, he doesn't. Reed. Oh, it bundled towards Major. And Patricio picked it up. And he will get rid of this. Plays it short to Bowley, to Moutinho, to Adam Traore with his pace. But Raya's down on the ground and he'll save that all day long. Mulgrew, throw in, Major, Reed loses it. Gutierrez, Nelson's there to clean up. Oh, there's a mistake. It's a mistake by David Raya. Unbelievable. Nelson and Raya just could not clean that up. And that is going to cost us dearly, I think, in the long run. I don't think it... Mulgrew, Major, Gray has a shot and that goes up and over. Okay, Nelson, Major, Bogle, gets a cross in. Problems, problems at the back. And Traore with his electric pace, it's causing us all sorts of problems. And that shot goes over. Moutinho with the corner, and Nelson clears only as far as Bennett. Bolly now, Mustafi to Moutinho. And as he snuffled out, he is by Reed. Partially, but they still keep going. Daki boy, what's he got up his sleeve? Nothing, absolutely nothing. So, 1-0 down at the break. We've got it all to do in the second half. So we're going for it. We've, we've, we've pushed everybody forward a little bit more. Because we've not really offered much of, of anything to get excited about. So, I'm going to give Dak maybe six more minutes. He's not really running his socks off. Was that, was that a highlight? So it went straight into the arms of the goalkeeper. And this looks always worrying. Gutierrez probably got the better of my man here. Bennett over the top. Oh, Damari Gray. What a signing this guy is. Four million. Absolute billy bargain. Today's money. I'll take that to the banker room. Dak, you drop it back. Major, you're going up top. But only for like a second. Because arm comes Armstrong. Major. Hack down. King strikes. Good effort. Last 15 minutes. Draw will be an okay result. Into the final couple. If offered this at the start, I probably would have taken it. Anything. Anything left in the tank. Last 60 seconds. Oh, no. Get rid of it. And it's all square in the end. 1-1. One, one. Not bad result. So, my friends, what's that done for Amari Bell? Two weeks out. Damari Bell's... Uh, Damari Bell. Uh, Daryl Lenehan is uh, nursing a... Well, he's, he's just lacking fitness. But look at this. Six games unbeaten within the league. That is a, uh, a stretch that goes back. One, two, three, four, five, six to the Liverpool defeat. And in amongst that is Chelsea, Arsenal... And West Ham. So there's no pushovers in there. Some real good teams. But in the next episode, boys and girls, you will see us taking on Huddersfield United and Manchester United. It is, we're coming straight back into it. And that game or that episode will be right here tomorrow. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, before we go, just have a quick look at the table. We are seventh in the table. Wolves remain in the old drop zone with 18th. Like I said, back tomorrow with some more. Football Manager 2019, where we continue to try and make Rovers great again, boys and girls. We are on a really good bit of bit of form right now, and maybe just maybe we can get into my desired goal, which is top ten or top half of the Premier League. That's my end of season goal. That will be an absolute amazing achievement. Um, my only concern right now is lack of goals. We're not really scoring. We haven't we've lost a Sombalonga, so our goals are going to have to come from elsewhere. Anyway, until I see you again, which will be tomorrow, thumbs up, subscribe, make Rovers great again, boys and girls. We'll continue tomorrow. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.